Ladies and gentlemen, this is Maestro Paul Gerasi at the 2016 Arnold Fencing Classic. We are about to begin the gold medal bout for the Veterans Mixed Epe competition. On the left is Terry Amrine, and on the right is Bradley Oaks. This is a veterans competition, so we will fence to 10 points. And Amrine jumps out aggressively, left-handed. And a flesh attack by Oaks. Fails, and then after the pass, a touch score, so the referee disallows it. Nothing is done, and the fences start again. Amrine stalking his prey. But Oaks with a counterattack scores the all-important first touch. Amrine undaunted coming forward again. Looking for hard beats on the blade. And Oak's attack is a little bit too low and he gets caught on uh, coming forward. Ends up being a double touch. Oak's holding that blade rather low. Amrine in big motions. Attempt for the foot. Almost succeeds. And a repost by Amrine. 2-2. Two -two. Fences are on guard. But they start again. On a very quick flash coming out by Mr. Oaks. Scores third touch for the go-ahead. Amroy makes the parry, but he can't really hold on to it. Unlike foil, the Ipe, you have to control the blade all the way through, and the remise from Oaks scores. And it looks like a shot off the bell there. It was not a clean parry again, and Amroy scores this time. Uh, Mr. Oaks is asking for the weapon to be checked, and the referee checks the weapon, and it seems to be satisfactory. Three fencing four. Amrine always coming forward. And this time a quick parry repose to the arm. Ties it up at 4-4. Four, four. But Oaks... Very quick to to tie uh, to take the lead again with a very quick lunge right off the line. Both fencers very aggressive in this match. A little bit unusual for Epe. And the facer, fencers come on guard. And here they go. Low stance by Oaks with continuous circles of his blade. Amrine with the <laughs> large motions, but he gets caught in the middle of a large motion and suffers a touch. He's using those large motions to try to get a destructive parry on the blade to open up a target. And the attack scores the foot. That's dangerous in epee fencing. Oftentimes a hand touch or a foot touch is a, a, a psychological <laughs> blow to the other fencer. But this time Amron comes back and he scores the repost to bring it to 5-7. Remember we fenced 10 points in a veterans match. And a flesh by Oaks is picked up in an envelopment by Amron who scores again 6-7. And the lead is diminished. We have a real contest here. This is for the gold medal in the 2016 Arnold Fencing Classic. This is the Veterans Mixed Epe. And a veterans event is, is defined by uh, 40 years and older. Uh, both these fencers have been fencing for a long time. And looking back at all of their accomplishments, uh, it would just take uh, it would take a long time to tell you all of them. But both are championship quality fencers. Oaks looking for that flesh again, but he's a little, little tentative since Amrine's parried the last two. Amrine still with those those big motions. Maybe he'll get caught in the preparation. And it looks like the counterattack scored. Amrine thinks it might be the, be might be the bell. He's asked for a video replay. 
just like pro football and other pro sports, uh, fencing has replay, and we have replay officials who will actually look at the action and they'll determine whether replay uh, will will determine whether the hit was valid or not. And they actually have a uh, separate officiating crew who run the replay. Uh, they have a, a camera person, they have a replay officer, and they have the referee. It's a three-man team, and the referees will work together to determine the correct call. In this case, Mr. Amrine feels that the the, uh, the point of the blade impacted upon his bell guard and uh, set off the scoring machine, uh, which can sometimes happen if there's some oxidation on the guard. Um, or if there's some glue that may have gotten on there from the from the blade itself, it is possible. There are always sometimes equipment failures, and that's why the refereeing crew is going to look into it. And right now they're checking the guard. They're checking the guard with the other weapon, and it appears to be grounded out. And so the touch will stand. And so we are back to the action. The score is six fencing, nine. Oaks needs one more touch to put it away and win the gold medal. Amrine will have to get... <laughs> <laughs> and kind of a funny irony here. Uh, Oaks celebrates, but he actually got hit on that one. Yeah. Looks like Oaks actually went uh, went for a low touch and, and Amrine hit him high. Uh, Oaks has asked for a, a video replay. And these things sort of happen as we get uh, as we get further into the tournament. A lot of times uh, fencers are very, very uh, uh, critical about uh, singular touches and, and one touch means a lot and it looks like oh it looks like they're taking the touch away it looks like apparently that Amrine actually hit the floor and so it is 6-9 and we begin the action again Oaks still needs one touch to win the tournament Both fence are circling. Amrine trying to be a little bit safer here, a little bit more cautious. And Amrine comes over the top and scores with a counterattack after he drew Oaks out. Seven fencing nine. He needs to score at least two to tie. We're still in the first period. He's got plenty of time. Oaks has planted his feet firm. Amrine still in motion. But that blade action is still large. Oaks simply looking for a double touch. He just wants to score and win this tournament. Amrine looking for something something quick on the arm. Picks underneath the hand. No good. And then Amrine goes. And Amrine goes after the failed touch to the foot. Amrine goes to the body for the short touch. Eight fencing nine. There's five seconds left in the first period. Oaks is backing up, but Amrine is pressing the issue. Up oh, and time runs out. So we have one minute to rest. And then we will go into the final period of three minutes. The score is eight fencing nine. We fenced the 10 touches. This is the 2016 Arnold Fencing Classic Men's or Mixed Epe uh, Veterans Event. These fencers have, have been around for a while. The uh, veterans are very, very experienced. Um, uh, looking, looking back on a lot of their, their uh, uh, tournaments and events, they've, uh, they've, they've fenced in just about everything. Um, Terry Amrine uh, actually won the, the Todd Kerr Memorial uh, sectional circuit um, back in 2010. Um, and we can look at uh, earlier tournaments all the way back to uh, 2008 where he came in, uh, had a bronze medal and a saber 
uh, uh, event in, in uh, Notre Dame, and uh, it's really fun watching veterans uh, because they have so seasoned, very experienced, and we're going to see some Wiley action here. Oh, and there is a flesh from Oaks and a power post with a full envelopment in Octave from Amrine, who scores 9-9 nine, nine, La Belle, or the beautiful, meaning the beautiful touch. This is it, the last the last touch. The next touch will win. The next point will win. Amrine's made a, a great comeback all the way from 6-9 to 9-9. Nine, nine. Oaks looking for that final touch, but Amrine scores a counterattack, and Amrine wins 10-9. 10 to 9, Terry Amrine wins the gold medal at the 2016 Arnold Fencing Classic. <laughs>